like to start by saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As-salamu alaykum. We are now Zoya ahead. Uh, peace be upon you in the name of God, the most compassionate, the most kind. My name is Zoya, and I'm really, really grateful to be here with all of you today. And I feel really honored uh, because, you know, we are bringing together a group of really diverse individuals who are working across a lot of different sectors around something that we all can agree is really valuable and important in all communities all around the world, which is hope. And um, I want to start with a fun little story. Um, I was in Sedona a few months ago. And um, if you haven't been to Sedona, whoever hasn't been, it's really incredible. So please put it on your list. Very beautiful, high energy point. And uh, when I got to my hotel, she said, uh, you know, pick, a, pick one of these rocks, and this will be like your mantra for whatever you're going forward. And I picked up the rock, and it said hope. So I had the hope rock. And um, I was just like, oh, okay, cute. Like, nice, hope. And I, Catherine and I had met at the National Disability Employment Awareness Month event uh, at Walmart. Um, and I'll share a little bit more about what I do in a minute. And she was talking about hope, right? And this little, biggest little book about hope at a disability event, nothing I had ever really thought about from an angle of like how we can create more wellness in communities, create more joy in communities, and actually like that there's a science to this. So it got me really thinking and, and listening. And uh, since then, she's brought me in on this journey to partner and you know, bring in International Days of Hope, Day of Hope, but also continuing to educate and connect so that we can all together, my hope and our hope, is today to spark, the great sparks is like our Walmart thing, <laughs> um, to, to spark and plant the seeds of something that'll be meaningful for all of us to create hopefully hope um, in all communities. So just you know a little bit about myself, I'm looking forward to hosting you all. I work at Walmart Corporate, um, I'm a director of public affairs for multicultural minority communities. Um, and I really am grateful because Walmart is really my tool to make impact in communities. And um, I'm also an explorer, a wanderer, and I get to really um, mix all of those things and bring in, meet amazing people, like some of the people you're gonna hear from today who I was grateful to bring into the room, uh, who are doing awesome work and find ways that we can all you know, continue to grow and expand together and co-create what working together looks like. Um, so I am um, for today I think you know just from like a logistics point of view we will have a break in a little bit but there's a room out there if you need to like take a breather or do a call bathrooms are like down that way um, I we try to be intentional about bringing some sunflowers you know this space is meant to be joyful and comfortable you know there's no pressure <laughs> and it's just supposed to be like you know speak your heart we're going to be conscious of time because we have dinner after this and after at dinner i'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody a little bit better and um you know just connect um and so firstly i'm gonna light this candle because this is the scent uh, shining hope candle that we're creating a spark of illumination and of hope um you see i bought some other candles um to kick off our ceremony i would say and i pray and i hope and i call in all of you know our beloved ancestors, anyone who's been with us that is on this journey that can't be here today as well to, and who are also proud of us, to be here with us so that we can have a great day.